right, this is video two of the advanced coding of your band DIV overlay MySpace layout. Getting right back into it, we're going to be moving on to the contact links. So we're going back to MySpace into safe mode. This time we're going to be working in the influence section. Basically, everything in the influence section relates to the style and the DIVs of the contact links. So the first link we're going to be working on is going to be this top part, the DIV class is V-A-N-A-S-F, which is very important to know when positioning. So basically, we're going to go ahead and put the image in. We're going to go to Image Shack. I'm going to copy the code for the About Us image. I'm going to put it right after where it says SRC equals, and in mine there's a terms of service violation dot gif. Just going to replace right over that. It's just because I saved it in my space without there being an actual link in there. Now in the description there's going to be a text file downloadable from my site, and it's going to have basically URLs in there for MySpace that you just put your MySpace ID after. Once that's done, you're going to be able to put them in your contacts wherever you want. Basically, it's like your message, your ad, your for, your fave, all that good stuff. I have that file pulled up now with my URL already in the add me. So I'm just going to copy that. I am going to go to where it says href equals, and then it's going to, and then it says MySpace. I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in there. Now you need the height and width of your image. You can do this just how I did this container image, but I already know my dimensions, so I'll go ahead and put those in. All right, I'm going to preview them. Submit. And the link should be good to go. Now you just repeat that for the rest of the contact links but to add a contact link basically what you're going to do is go to edit in the influence section copy the last div class go a couple of spaces down paste that under there and the div class name is going to need to be changed and you're going to need to know that when you go into the positioning so i'm just going to change the d to an f preview and submit. Going into the positioning, which is in the bio section, we see the DIV class for the first contact link image. This is where you're going to edit the top and left. Basically do it the same exact way as everything else. Take some trial and error. You can use Pixel Roller to help with the top. Do it just how you do everything else. Mine's already set, so I'm not going to mess with it at all. But what I will be doing is copying the bottom style code, pasting it underneath, and changing the D to an F. So now I can position that last link I just added. All right, I'm going to preview this save it or submit it i'm going to show you why we saved two images instead of just that one basically sometimes when your design is a little extreme it's a pain in the ass to get it positioned exactly right so that you do not see the other contact images underneath the main one that's clickable so what we do is save the second image without the contact links or the object like the band player. So we do not have to have it exact for every single pixel. And because on different browsers, it may be off a pixel or two. So we just go ahead and delete that off of the actual design we're going to use. So we're going to go ahead and go to the image host. And we're going to copy that image image URL and we're going to go back to the members section and we're just going to paste this link 
over the original one we put in at the beginning of the video. So that now we do not have to worry about positioning every single link right next to each other or right in the same spot and you have design underneath it that's not lining up correctly. You don't have to worry about any of that now. Also, you do not have to worry about your band profile player being a little bit off or something like that, like mine was on the original. So basically showing you what it looks like right now. You see, I know I have that little white line that was beside here now, and now I can just position the links beside it and underneath it. Since they're all together, they're all cut together, they're all the exact same size and everything. So that pretty much cuts a lot of work out makes it a lot faster to go ahead and design and code this. Now we got to position the objects. Basically all I have is a video player and then I have a new section for text. Everything's already positioned online. All I would have to do is put the code for the video in and type the text I want in. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it anyway. Back in the code, we're going to the member section. Bottom of the member section, right underneath the part where you put your overlay image in, is going to be where the first object code is. Now, this one is only going to be for HTML, so you're just going to edit this for a video or something like that. Or you could copy it, paste one right underneath, change the DIV class name, just how we did with the links, and you'll have another object code. Underneath this, underneath this object code is a text code for your about me and stuff like that. I'll also be having a tutorial on how to do the tour dates and the blogs on your DIV overlay layout. But that's not going to be included in this video. So once you have all that figured out, I'm just going to go ahead and get the height and width of my object so I can put that in. the object code it's only going to ask you for a width so you're just going to put the width in. Preview this, submit, and just like with the links you're going to need to know the DIV class when you position it. Basically it starts right after the links. Right here would be the first class. That's why I'd start positioning it. Same exact way. You have your top, you have your margin left. Then there's more links. Here we have another one and all that good stuff. So basically, you know how to do that now. So now you should be able to code your own DIV layout on your own, but if you do need any help, you can contact me on AIM at Designs by Donnell, or you can contact me on MySpace, MySpace forward slash Designs by Donnell. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitter forward slash Donnell Knight. Make sure you subscribe, rate, and comment, and see you on the next tutorial.